Karina, and I'm going to show you how to set up and use the My School Logbook. My husband and I developed the design for these logbooks to meet our own needs during a very busy time. I was expecting our seventh child, and our oldest was only 10. I wanted to improve the organization of our homeschool, but I needed something that was easy to set up and easy to maintain. We're going to set this logbook up together and you'll see how easy it is. But first I want to show you from the trenches a logbook from last year. This was my son's. He was eight years old. On the left you'll see the checklist. In here I wrote all his assignments and it's folded over a weekly predated sheet. It's dated Monday through Saturday with the dates. We don't usually do school on Saturday but it's a nice makeup day so that's why it's there. And anytime he finished his assignment, he just put a check in the box. Or on this line, I wrote score, so instead of a check, he wrote down his score. When he finished this week, then he just went on to the next week. And then the next week. Very, very simple. All right, to set this up, you're going to need to find a checklist. In the beginning of the book are the checklists. The bulk of the school logbook are these weekly predated pages. That's the bulk of it. And then at the very back, you have space to write down books your children have read, Bible verses memorized, and even some spaces if you want to compile test scores for a particular subject. So you have them all in one spot. So find this checklist and rip it out. Then you'll want to cut off this bottom edge just because it's ugly. Okay. Once you've done that, then find the line that says fold here. And we're just going to fold this checklist on that line so that the printed side is facing out. Just like this. Now your checklist is ready to go. The next thing we need to do is find which week we want to start this assignment list on. So let's say we're going to start here. And I take my checklist and I'm going to tape it to the back of this week so that it folds over to the front with a couple pieces of scotch tape. You just tape, tape the back, not the front and we're ready to write down our assignments. Right here is a column labeled time. You can use that for a time estimate, a time requirement, a time of day, or just leave it blank. In our first example, I'm going to write down Bible. Bible reading in our house is 30 minutes. Next, I'm going to write math. There's no time requirement for math. They just need to finish their assignment, but they do need to start it at 9 a.m. Okay, what if there's something that you want to change weekly, such as a memory verse? You can write memory verse on the checklist, and then under the checklist is a space for notes. The memory verse is on the third line down, so on the third line down under the notes section, I'm going to write John 3.16 for this week. And then next week, I may write Genesis 1.1, next week, Romans 3.23, and so on. Now what if I have something that I want to change every day, such as coffee work? I can write, very small, in the box what their coffee work is for each day, and then they'll just put a check mark right on top of it. So on Monday, they might do Genesis 1.1. On Tuesday the 23rd, 1 2, Wednesday 1 3, 1 4, and 1 5. And then when they complete that assignment, they just put a check mark right on top. What if you have a subject that you don't do every day? Let's say you did history Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and geography on Tuesdays and Thursdays. You have a couple of options. You can write history Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and geography Tuesday, Thursday all on one line. And then as your child completes those assignments, they'll have check marks straight across. 
or the option the other option is to put them on two separate lines such as history Monday Wednesday Friday and geography below that Tuesday Thursday and then your child's check marks will look like this. Monday they do history, Tuesday, geography. History, geography, history. On the days those assignments are not required, you can leave it blank or line it out. Whatever you choose. Now let's say you use this assignment list for a couple weeks or a couple months, and then you want to change it for some reason. So let's say we did a couple weeks and now on this week, we want a new assignment list. No problem. Just rip out another checklist, just like last time. Cut it on the bold bottom, fold it on the line, and then attach it to the back of the week you wish to start your new assignment list. Could be that you finished a subject early or wanted to change the order of something. Don't remove this old checklist because this also serves as the record of these previous week's work. So just leave it there and then your new assignment is attached to the week you're starting your new assignment so it also serves as your bookmark. And then from here, you just keep going. This is the wonderful thing about this book is that once you get it set up, and it's pretty easy to set up, it just runs itself just keep going for as long as you want. These books prove to be a wonderful blessing to our family, so much so that I pray they'll be a blessing to your family as well. Thank you for watching my tutorial.